Okay, so we're starting off with a very strong sourdough starter. This is active, this is bubbly, it's at its peak. That's the secret to an, a, a successful sourdough loaf. You're gonna add your water, make sure your starter is floating, and then you're gonna mix that in with the water until it's nice and milky. Add your flour, mix it all together, and then I knead this dough for about four to five minutes until everything is nice and smooth, there's no clumps of flour. I put my lid on and then I let that dough rest for an hour and a half. After an hour and a half to two hours, I add my salt. When I'm adding my salt, I always add 50 grams of additional water for easy mixing. And I'm gonna pinch that salt into the dough and then I'm going to knead it again for another four to five minutes until the dough is nice and smooth. I kind of pull up, fold it over, pull up, fold it over. I'm gonna cover with a lid until the dough is just doubled in size or you can do a bulk fermentation in the fridge overnight, but you don't want to let your dough overproof, just doubled in size. Going to get your dough out, cut it in half, and then we are ready for our first shaping. So we're going to stretch the dough out into a rectangle shape, then we're going to fold each end over each other. Then we are rolling it up from one end, and then we're gonna build tension in this loaf. So we're gonna push it away from us, pull it in, while you're tucking in those, those ends. So everything is nice and tucked in, and you can see the loaf is getting nice and springy. It's a nice shape. And we're gonna let these sit on the counter for 20 minutes. After your 20 minutes, you can see they've kind of relaxed a little bit. We're gonna do our second shape, but this time being a lot more gentle with your dough. You can see it's kind of has all those nice air bubbles. We're gonna try to keep those intact while building some tension again. So we're gonna fold each end over itself. We're gonna roll it up, but not squish it down this time as much and then we're gonna push away pull it in while tucking the ends in until you feel like the loaf has a really nice spring in it it's a nice shape and then immediately we're gonna add that into your proofing baskets from there you're gonna put your proofing baskets cover them with something that holds the moisture so they don't dry out, either a plastic bag or a shower cap, and into the fridge for just two hours. Keep an eye on them because you don't want them to overproof at this point. Get them out. We'll do a little scoring. So your first score, the design, either your wheat stalks or whatever you decide to do, is a very shallow cut. Then your main score will be a lot deeper. This is where your loaf will spring in the oven. So you can see my wheat stalks will stay wheat stalks and then this will kind of puff up in the oven. The preheated pan, put in your loaf with a little bit of water for the steam and then into the oven it goes. After 10, before you take it out, 10 minutes before, take the lid off and there you go. Wait for the loaf to be completely cooled before cutting into, but there you go.